Rush Limbaugh, though he is whining about uh, that it's just me and Fox News out here, and I don't even think they care that much, he should be happy to note that, yes, Fox News does care about Limbaugh. They realize they are joined at the hip, responding to a piece uh, in the New Republic, the newly launched New Republic, where President Obama is talking about immigration reform. And he's basically saying what, um, in many respects, I've been saying for quite some time, that the only way Republicans will be able to support this is if they are able to shake off the yoke of the Frankenstein that they have created. Remember back in 2007 where jo when George Bush and Karl Rove knew that the future of the Republican Party was in jeopardy because of how much they had alienated Hispanics, among other people. They attempted some type of immigration reform, and the Frankensteins, the electoral base of the Republican Party, rebelled. Talk radio rebelled and sunk the whole bill. And so Obama was basically saying, if these Republicans have to kowtow to Fox and to Rush Limbaugh, it may not happen. And of course, well, that provided a segment for Fox, one of the Fox and Friends, Steve Dushi, who brings on a paid legal consultant to tell him just how great Fox is. Let's play this first clip. After he went after the Second Amendment and guns, now the president unhappy with freedom of speech, going after the First Amendment, criticizing Fox News Channel and Rush Limbaugh saying, quote, one of the biggest factors is going to be how the media shapes debates. If a Republican member of Congress is not punished on Fox News or by Rush Limbaugh for working with a Democrat on a bill of common interest, then you're going to see more of them doing it. Here to comment, Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson Jr. What's the president doing there? The uh, imperial presidency playbook is open, and they're in the middle of the book uh, at, at this point. So as you say, the Second Amendment is in doubt, and now the First Amendment is seriously in doubt. There it is. The First Amendment is seriously in doubt because President Obama said that if the right-wing media punishes Republican lawmakers, they won't be able to do anything responsible and they'll be beholden. And that's, of course, how you destroy the First Amendment. <laughs> Let me draw a diagram of that. No, I can't. <laughs> Let's play the second clip uh, as they come out of playing a clip of Rush Limbaugh bemoaning the fact that they're all alone. Fox News stands for the First Amendment today, as does Rush, Rush Limbaugh. Um, the job of Fox News is to go after policies and to go after politicians in a constructive way. Fox News has the best reporters in America and the best commentators and thinkers in America. If that upsets the President of the United States or the Democratic leadership, then so be it. That is the bulwark of our democracy. Ask Thomas Jefferson, ask Alexis de Tocqueville commenting on America. Look at our history. Without a free press, there's not a free America. Without a free Fox, there's not a free America. People can love us, hate us, watch us or not, but Fox is doing its job. Fair and balanced means something, especially in a media that's in the tank across the board. And the president does not like that. There's a reason we're number one. All right, Absolutely. Peter John. Wow, the studio audience really enjoyed that. I love the idea of saying, uh, just the saying the name Alexis de Tocqueville while looking at Steve Ducey. Like entering some type of vortex. That is These two words, it's like elements that in the is periodic one of table. The, <laughs> that is, you are like Alexis de Tocqueville, Steve Ducey. Ah, uh, is he French? <laughs> Steve Ducey's face like turning all red, he's looking oh, down to the well, floor. Well, I, like, I yeah. really, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Oh, shucks. 